Hello everyone, Xeno and Zemir here. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we got some he requests out of the way from Grey and Alexandria. This time. This time we're going to from this guy. What's wrong, Commander? Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's you guys. The Ferranus was heavily damaged during the battle, do you remember? As a result, some of our remote-administrated autolevs aren't responding to transmitted instructions. I'm not 100% on the techno babble, but that doesn't sound good. Indeed. I've sent some of our tech guys over, so we'll know soon enough. Do you really need the machines? Are you thinking there might be another battle? It's nothing like that, I assure you. Colony Lambda is now focused on ether mining, and... What was that? We just received word of a tunnel collapse. What? I'll be there ASAP. Are the troops assembled? They're all in position. Then go on ahead. Sorry about this, after you took the trouble to come all the way here. Commander, please let us lend a hand. Only if you're sure, but your help will be welcome. Roger that. Sir has definitely joined us. Or I'm wavering. Let's go to the tunnels. Tablet there instead. Let's take the elevator down. Now we wait. Still be after us, especially for how weak they are. Oh, fine, die. That was spectacular. And I was the MVP. You're all thinking it. Okay. Where do we come from? 
We could do worse than battle that. So we can just go through this way instead. All right. Whoa! Check this place out. Me, my dear. The tunnels are up ahead. Tunnel walls should have been stabilized. What happened? Hey, look over there. It's collapsed. Ah, we got monsters. They must have been living in a place with elevated ether concentration, then found their way in here. We better get there quick. But there's no direct path there. We'll have to go around. You've got Lebnuses, don't you? Wanted to make short work of these things. But we need permission from each squad's leader to activate a Levnis. Oh, come the snuff on. This is an emergency. You stay here on standby. There might be another clap, so we'll go on alone. But, Commander! Execute a partial evacuation once the tunnel mouth is secured. Coordinate with the medic corps and treat any wounded. Now, these are special orders for which I take full accountability. Inform the other troops. Yes, sir! Now, all of you. We'll be fine, Commander. You can count on us. Understood. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. We want to reach the cave-in. First off, we'll need to find a way up. Shall we deal with this? I'll make this quick! Can't let you fill me up, Nora. You're dealing with me! Thanks! We're way too soon! Hear that, Noah? Lance wants something a bit meatier. Here we go! No, I'm not going to be too happy about the score pop because once you 
once we're off the next elevator, we should be right there. How about it? Shall we take it on? Elemental distance of an element! Run from <laughs> oh, Mimi? Sure I did, Sana. You look great! Once we're off the next elevator, we should be right. Come on, let's get to it. Now? <laughs> wait. It's just it's sort of new, uh... No problem. Can anyone hear me? We're here to help! Commander! We're safe! No casualties here! Looks like there weren't too many working this deep inside. I'm glad everyone's unharmed. I didn't think there'd be a cave in here, considering the geology, and with this level of structural support. I suppose the cave wall was weak enough for the monsters lurking there to break through. When the excavation uncovered an area of concentrated deposits, the monsters that lived there must have sensed the chance. The ether find is good news, but for now, let's get everyone out. There might be more monsters. We better keep an eye out. Noted. We're close to the site of the cave-in. Let's pick up the pace. Yes, sir. So much to see, huh? Hey, this one means business. They've been absorbing the ether. Stay on your guard. You're a lifesaver. That looks somewhat cleaned up. I guess riding a leftness meant they avoided any serious injuries. A little silver lining to a great big cloud. Glad to hear. Tyon? No, all of you. Thanks for your assistance. You saved us. On the contrary, Commander. We were just following your orders. Right. We could only react so fast thanks to your quick thinking. That's about as much as I can do. The people of Colony Lambda, and you as well, all knew what needed to be done. And due to that, the rescue was a success. I can't thank you enough. You've even managed to secure a nearby ether deposit. I'm a bit jealous. Yes. Actually, our troops reported a harvestable ether source recently. Now, with enough resources in the bank, perhaps the colony could have some peace of mind. I hear a fair few colonies are lacking ether. Everyone knows that we're nothing without it. Everyone in Lambda knows to be prepared to do anything in their power rather than lose it. By the way, how are your travels? Our... travels? Sometimes I'm envious of folk like you. Strong-willed and forging ahead. Well, we're not that. Actually, I think being a commander is a pretty big deal in its own way, eh? Yeah. Smoldering Kamaravi and the famed Silvercoat certainly are. But I'm not that kind of lone pioneering type. I think... most people feel the same. I know my own weakness best of anyone. The day we lost Nimue and Yu Tyon, I abandoned all thought. The Consul sensed my weakness, knew I'd pass my responsibility to another, and took merciless advantage of it. Oh? That's one thing I learned from losing. Ironically, if I hadn't experienced that loss, I... I'd never have come to understand this feeling in me. Sorry, no one needs to hear all that. Ah, yes, I owe you all, don't I? Would you come to the commander's office later? I'll be waiting. Let's, Let's harvest some, some ether. ether. Let's harvest some ether. Don't mind if I do. So, 
I wanted to thank you all somehow. We didn't lend a hand just so you'd give us something in return. Too right. We don't expect any thanks. That may be so, but... Oh, yeah. Did the thing with the autolevs get sorted out? I only just got a report saying they don't know why they won't work. After seeing that cave-in, I want to investigate thoroughly. An autolev is vital for that investigation. If we can't bring them back here, they can't be of any use to us. Here it comes. I'm not planning on getting you involved for every little thing. I already can't thank you enough for your help with the cave-in. Excuse me, Commander. I have a report about the autonomous levnesses. Any new developments? Yes, sir. It seems they're operational. I see. They wanted you to take a look and judge if they can be used or not, sir. Roger that. Well, I'm sorry for bringing you all out here. I have to go. I'd like to come along. What do you mean? Oh, good call. I need some closure on this. We won't get in the way. Is that okay? As you wish. Then follow me. The Autolevs are stationed in the cave at the Pier Bluffs. We don't exactly have what I'd call an open schedule. Sorry. I know this is selfish. Nah, mate. I don't blame you. I may owe Commander Izzard a great debt, but he's also someone I just want to help, even if I didn't owe him. I think every soldier in Lambda probably feels the same. It sounds nice, doesn't it? Feeling an attachment to your colony, to your commander. Yeah, definitely. <gasps> what happened? Hey, is everything okay? Uh, commander, the Levnesses, they started moving all of a sudden. What? And then they just came for us. But any autonomous unit should have safeguards to stop it attacking us. <laughs> that came from right up ahead. Ha! Huh. Lucky thing we tagged along, eh? Please, stay back, Commander. We can take it. What are you saying, man? I'm fighting. It'd be a lousy example for the troops if I just stood around and stared. Then let's go. Hmm? What's that? Ah! Hmm? Cake! Great. Wonder what it's like inside. Let's 
Soft is not tough. The belly, but a dent in it. Concentrate on their power sources. Where are they? Finish it up now. Tie on. Right. Look out. Commander Izzard! It's over. Feels like all I do is ask you to clean up our messes. Thanks again. If there's anything I can do. But why did they go berserk? It might have been set so they couldn't tell between friend and foe once restarted. You think so? So you're saying that forcing them to restart overwrote the previous instructions? Oh, man. I'll have engineering give me the details. We need them in running order, but they can be dangerous tools, so care is paramount. Regardless, let me know if there's any way I can thank you. We told you before, we didn't do this for any reward. You won't fly. I can't rest easy knowing I'm this deep in someone else's debt. If you're going to insist... Do we need anything, guys? Uh, let me think. All right, I've got something. Whatever it is, just say the word. We've put you out of your way. I want you to fight by our side once more. Say that again. I want you to see for yourself that the path I'm walking is the right one, Commander. Tyon, has this been bothering you? I understand. My position as commander means I probably won't be able to accompany you at all times. But I pledge myself and Colony Lambda to you, Tyon. No, to all of you. Call me any time you need me. I'll come running no matter what. Thank you very much, Commander. I better brush up on my skills to keep up with you all. Colony Lambda will have to keep up with its current developments, too. We can help you with stuff like that, mate. Now look here, I can't ask that of you. Look, we're friends now. Nothing wrong with asking your friends for help. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends, you say. You're incredibly trusting, you know that. What's that supposed to mean? We're just helping. I don't mean anything bad by it. If I need you, I'll ask for you. Please, call us anytime you need. I'm a lucky man to have friends like you, Tyon. Endeavor to assist you. Because Tyon's stuck in her sir. It's probably best. For now. If we fight another unique monster, I'll cool this machine to Soul Hacker.
because these two are going to be stuck on this tower. Two things. Uh, next we have to go to Conch Conchrock Beach, which I believe isn't in this, in this here. I don't believe we've actually been there. I believe it's actually here. I believe it's this one. If I'm wrong, well, we'll find out. And then we have the very, very, very long one. If I'm wrong, I'll find out. Hey, the mud has dropped something. Okay, so I need to cross over. Yeah, this is condensed here. So this might be it. If it isn't. Mark. Yeah, here. No. Drat. We have to go around the colony. So I need to get to the double crag gate. Ow. So I am right. Where I have to go. There's only. We're really going in here? Urchon. And here. What kind of place is this? Yeah, this is Control Beach. Wait up! I heard something. What is it, Mimi? Banana <sighs> sea person on ground! Stay with me, we'll patch you right up. Understand? I promised them. Said I'd keep them safe. If I'm the only one that survives, then it's all been for nothing. I have to go. Oi, don't be a clod. Huh? I'm. I'm not. Oh, what? You're really serious then? How are you gonna save anyone when you can barely stand yourself? You got a death wish or something? Let's break it down. As I see it, you have two options here. You can go in and try to save them by yourself, or you can let us pitch in. Which one of those strikes you as the better idea, eh? You want to help me? I don't know. That depends. But I wouldn't be in such a hurry to throw my life away. 
Being ready to die and actively trying to get yourself killed are two very different things. <sighs> it's just a quick patch up, but it should help you think straight. Sorry about Lance and his threatening display of idiocy. What's threatening? You missed the point. I did not miss the... Oh. Look, you can relax. We're all friends here. Would you mind telling us what's going on? Yeah, okay. There was a Kavesi raid. There was no time. I had to cause a diversion, so I leapt in without a second thought. After that, it's... it's all a blur. That was pretty reckless of you. Remind Riku of someone Riku know? Oh. Whatever the case may be, we had best hurry. Judging by the situation, your allies were likely forced apart and are now fighting alone. It really sounds like it would help to have some numbers on your side, no? For now, let's hit the best course of action we can. We can hash out the details later. The best... course? <laughs> My name is Fiona. I am the commander of Colony Mew. I know this might be a lot to ask, seeing as we've just met. But please, lend me your strength. I need to save my people. Fiona has temporarily joined the party. Transparent dreams. We've made some new friends. Excavate. Hello, everyone. I'm on my way. New colony entries have been registered. Please. There's no time to spare. Let's hurry. <clears throat> Summer. I'm so sorry. He shouldn't have been alone. Let's send her on. Her voice deserves to be heard. All right. May you sleep peacefully. Let's move. If only I was stronger. Just stay focused. It's not over yet. Everyone's safe. It must have hurt so much. Fiona, leave the rest to us. Yes. Thank you. We can't just leave this be. isn't going to change anything. Noah, Mio, would you mind taking care of everyone? Be at rest. All well, these guys are just random. The... No names. Yep, they get names. I like that. It's not Every soldier is nameless. I don't want to lose them. Oh, Fiona. Well, this was entertaining. Quite a contest. 
Indeed. And it ended with your loss. Irma! What took you? Sorry. How's everyone? Fiona! Oh, Fifi, I was so worried about you. We're surrounded. And pretty badly depleted. <laughs> Men, aim for that banner. It's their commander, Fiona. Dream on, mother! We should go. All of us, yes. We didn't ask for these outsiders. This is still our fight. But the wounded... Ah, it's nothing. We're good. Yeah, we're fine. Still fighting fit. Relax, Fifi. You worry far too much. In Colony Mew, we fight as one. Right, folks? You guys... Trust your crew. Trust yourself. Trust in victory. All hearts as one. We'll make it together. Come on now, of course we did. We made a promise, right? Come what may, we'll always be together. <sighs> Lance, everybody! Thank you so much for saving our lives. Whoa, all right, steady on. We're not deaf. You were just gonna walk away. I couldn't let you go without a proper thank you. Even if, even if you're Ouroboros, the betrayers, Hang on. No, no. No need to explain. You're our saviors. That's right. You even healed our wounded. Yeah, you don't look like baddies to me. Exactly. And I noticed that when we were fighting side by side, you guys all trust one another. That's why. You've made up your mind, have you, Fiona? Yeah. That's why... I want to try trusting, too. I want to destroy our flame clock. Would you mind doing us this one last favor? Hmm? It's hardly a problem for us, but why the sudden request? We heard about a liberated colony from Nopon Travelers. That's what got me thinking. There should be more to life than spending it fighting all the time. Being ready to die? and actively trying to get yourself killed are two very different things. Sounds to me like you've been mulling it over. This has to change. I want to change myself. I want to change the way things are. <laughs> Good on you. Looks like you got it figured out. You'll... you'll trust me. <laughs> That's the same look you gave us when we first met. You'll do anything to protect your friends, won't you? All right, then. Let's make tracks for Colony Mew. That is, if she didn't still seem to be having second thoughts. Care to tell us why? Oh, you noticed. Well, that makes things easier. There are two major stumbling blocks. The first is that you'll have to somehow outwit the console. And second, that only that console knows the location of the flame clock under discussion. Huh? How can you not know? 
The one you see right now? That's just a fake. Fake? How's that then? Well, but the console isn't here right now. This might be the right time to act. Fiona, this isn't the place to be having this conversation. Ah, right. Sorry. In any case, let's talk details at the colony. Our people are on their last legs. We'll need time to get back to strength. Um, please, take this. I'm happy you were able to send everyone on their way. It really helped me to be a little more positive. Thank you so much. Sorry about all the urgent requests. We'll be waiting for you at Colony Mew. Don't keep us waiting too long. Good deeds. Get you good rewards. We've made some new friends. Better give it a once over. Like a fake. We've made I some new friends. We're getting played. We've been told. Just a bunch of lies. Just a Oh, so that's how they're doing. We've been waiting for you. This is awesome! Did you guys make this? I suppose we did. Whenever we say farewell to a friend, we plant flower seeds. They kept growing over time, and before we knew it, we had this. It's beautiful, but to think of all the departed. Standing still spells death. If we can't achieve victory, there will be no tomorrow. But still, we didn't want to forget that they were all here, once. So that's why you're getting all teary-eyed. What? N no It's just the pollen. It doesn't take much to get Commander Boohoo here going. Irma! Looks like you're taking a lot on your shoulders. Doesn't it weigh you down? A little. I just wish I wasn't such a weakling. You can put the burden down whenever you want, you know. You can still choose to keep things the same as always. I wouldn't think any less of you if you did. Neither would anyone else here. I love you for saying that, Irma. Just like I love everyone here. And Colony Mew, where I met you all. And ever since I realized that, tomorrow stopped looking so dark. And that's exactly why I can't run away from my responsibility. I get it. Whatever happens, I trust in you. And I trust you too. Fiona, Irma. All the squad leaders have assembled. We can start the meeting at your convenience. Understood. I'll be right there. Oh, but before that, Fifi. Tickle ambush! Kitchy kitchy goo! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, Fifi. Get it all out of you. Yep, now she's back to herself. We're waiting in the square. Why? I'll get you back, you'll see. <laughs> Run away! It's hard to imagine that the console will make it easy for us with the flame clock. Someone will surely pay for this with their life. Again. Please, do whatever you can to make sure it's not Fiona. We've made some new friends. Be lazy. Oh, 
Oh, so that's how they're doing. Are we seriously going to do it now? Those Gavessi dudes are still loitering around. Who's loitering again? God, he's huge! Sounded like someone was having a bit of a whinge. We all good here? We're great. Right, Tallow? Uh, right, Chief. No whinge in here. Say again? N nothing to say, really. Huh. I'll take your word for it. Time is of the essence. Sorry to rush, but can we get straight to the point? What should we talk about first? About the fake flame clock. You said the colony's flame clock was a fake. What did you mean by that? Wow, pretty blunt, huh? Honestly, we don't really know any more beyond the fact that it's a fake. Since we never use it anyway, yeah? When it's close to running dry, we get orders from the console to go out and fight. Well, what is it for then? Do you think maybe there's some weird advantage to it? Like, maybe the colony's rank is really high? but it makes it look lower to get enemies to underestimate us. Or, or the exact opposite. Actually, we're bottom tier, but it looks a lot higher to intimidate people. Oh, yeah. It could be that. Well, your actual strength doesn't change, so it'd be pretty obvious once you get down to it. And also, supplies from the castle are allocated based on rank. Could we see your supplies? That would give us a good idea of where you fall rank-wise. Nico's on warehouse detail. And I'm Nico. I'll get things ready for your inspection. You said nobody knows where your real flame clock is except the console. How are we supposed to find it then? I don't suppose we could just ask the console? <sighs> oh, come on. Why the huge sigh? I was just asking. Someone had to ask. Well, it has to be somewhere or the status quo wouldn't be maintained. If you fight, the flame clock must fill up. Suppose you were to harvest a large pool of life in a short time. Oh, it would flow into the real clock. I'd like to investigate any large-scale combat engagements you may have experienced. If we're lucky, someone may have witnessed some signs of the flame clock's operation. Can we take a look into your past battle records? Of course. I'll have them delivered to you. If the current flame clock is fake, what happens when your rank goes up? As far as I know, I don't think that's ever happened. Wait, you're joking. You've always been on the same level. Nico, that's me. Heard something from the console one time. She said to tough it out and do exactly as instructed, and everything would be all right. Oh? I was told something else. People only see what they want to see, I think it was. Uh, meaning? Meaning, nobody actually wants to see how much is left on their clock, I guess. Well, yeah. I mean, if you knew, you'd just stress out over it constantly. A little more stressing wouldn't go amiss in your case, Tallow, you turkin head. What? Why'd you gotta call me names? Just cause. Wow. Well, we don't know exactly what the console intended, but you must have had something in mind to go to these lengths rigging the contraption. About the console. You said the console was away. Do you know how long for? Tell you bluntly, we don't know either. She's always disappearing, going off on one special mission or another. In that case, she could be back at any time. I'm sorry that the answer isn't very useful. This all sounds like kind of a big deal. It doesn't bother you. It's nothing special. We don't normally talk much about it. She just sends us down broad stroke orders, like, go defeat those guys, send a team to this location. Yeah, the only time she spoke normally was that one time, wasn't it? You know, the time when Fiona became commander. Yuck, do we have to talk about that? About what? When the previous commander died, Fiona clung to the consul's knees, started saying that the way we fought was making everyone miserable. Yeah, it turned into a whole, like, debate. Until the console was like, fine then, you try and change it. And made Fiona the commander. 
What? Just like that? I know, it was a twisted kind of punishment. But now I've got everyone else tangled up in this mess. Whatever. We know you just want the best for us, Fifi. That's why you get yourself in such a tizzy. And that's why we want to support you in turn. You're good, Fiona. Better than you know. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Punishing someone with a promotion? That's so bizarre. So, this whole clock-breaking thing's kind of a sudden development, yeah? I wanted to ask how you lot feel about all this. We know how Fiona feels, but are you all okay with what we're about to do? Honestly, I just want Fiona to be able to relax. Like, not have to carry all this responsibility. That's so kind of you. Even if we do this, people will still die. Yeah, but if they do, it will be because of their own failure. That's not the same. She carries the banner for us, and it's because of us that it's so heavy. But that weight's also the momentum that keeps her moving forward. I don't want us doing anything that could sully the purity of Fiona's conscience. All right, all right. Let's all take some deep breaths. We're all friends here. Keep it civil. I'm happy that you're so concerned for me. Thank you. Well, I reckon things will work out one way or another. I mean, come on. You've got us on your side. Yeah, you tell him, Lance. No one wants to lose their mates. Just don't lose track of what matters, yeah? Nothing else? I think we've more or less heard all we need. Yeah, I think so too. It's time to get to work. Let's check out the loose threads we've uncovered. We should investigate the supplies in the warehouse and the colony's battle record data. Is that right? I'll make sure everyone gives you their full cooperation. We'll also try looking around for anything we might have missed. If anything turns up, we'll be in touch. We've made some new friends. Doing. Let's rest and heal up. Or food first. Oh, whoa! This is really good. Whew. I couldn't eat another bite. I look forward to tasting it. Everyone, a moment of your time.
interesting. Right then, should we get a move on? Oh, so that's how they're doing. <sighs> Oh no! What's going on? It's like back at Colony 4. Another Mobius messing with us. Crap! Towel! Hey! What's wrong with you? Sorry about this, bud. Towel! Don't worry. He'll be all right. But now... Muse Consul. It was you, wasn't it? Reality, right? It's just so dull. That's why nobody pays it any mind. They'd rather chase pretty dreams. You really should have just stayed dreaming. <gasps> Why would you do something like this? When someone close to you gets hurt, you want to become stronger for them. That desire and sadness, they make for a quality flame. Is that why you arranged the attack? Conspired with Keves, sacrificed all those lives? Without some hardship, humans don't come together. It was just the same with you. Cut the crap! How could you put Fiona through this? I know perfectly well what I did! once gave up. She wouldn't let the dream be all there was. That purity of purpose. It lifted everybody up. The need to support one another. She taught me that as well. <sighs> oh, well, ain't that nice? Learn this! What are you... Don't hurt my friend! Even if she's bad, she's still my friend! Fiona!
Apologies. me. Sorry. You were my friend. But I couldn't save you. Fiona. You'll always How they're doing.
This is where the flame clock was. Why did we never see it before? Look, I'm not great with words, but I wanted to say, I'm sure she was a complicated person too. I'll never forgive what Irma did. I know I can never, ever forgive her, but if I'd never met her, I wouldn't be who I am today. She's taught me a lot as well. Just... just promise you won't suffer alone, all right? If things get too much to bear, you can always talk to me. Tallo. If you need to grumble or swear or call someone names, I'm your man. I'll get rid of all your worries. You can count on this turk in head, okay? <laughs> Same old Tallo. She woke me up, you know. Irma did. Made me watch you. I couldn't move, but I followed every word you said. Perhaps she didn't want you to be alone. <sighs> but then, why? Why do something like that? I'm supposed to be the turk in head, not Irma. I... I want to know about these Mobius people. I have to know what Irma was thinking. Will you let me fight by your side still? No reason to say no. You're already our friend, Fifi. Don't ever forget how you're feeling right now. I think it'll keep you strong. Yeah. I won't. Not ever. Here we go! With that, we now have Fiona. I'll do my very best. Oh no. Oh no. Doing. Next time, hey, isn't this valuable? We're gonna have to go on a quest run before then. Right here, call me four. Because we need to do some questing before we can get the last hero. This is Zena and Zuba. Starting out.